Frank, in the end, is that a case of mixed emotions after what you've seen tonight? Yeah, in the end, because there's two points lost. Uh, that's no disrespect to West Brom, but um, to come here and sort of understand the game and know that transition and, and mistakes will be something they would jump on um, to counter-attack against us and set pieces. Spoke about it before the game. You can't legislate for pure mistakes, which they were today. Um, and then it gives you a really diff difficult game to get back in. So I can, you know, I can lord character because we showed character and persistence, but we didn't need to if we did things properly in the game. The goals you conceded, were they precisely the kind of goals that you're working so hard to try and eradicate at the moment? Yeah, but you, you, as I say, mistakes, clear mistakes. The first one, Marcus heads it into the middle of the pitch for them for a transition. Thiago one is a mistake. He's been around long enough to know that and, and we'll certainly give him that one in his first game. And then Marcus loses his man from the, uh, for the third goal from the corner. Clear mistakes, so there's, you know, you can do as many meetings as you want. If you're going to make those mistakes, you give yourself a mountain to climb. Mm. You made two changes at half-time. What did you feel you needed to change about in terms of the performance of the team as a whole? A bit of urgency in the team, a bit of speed of, uh, of pass to move it. Aspie brings personality straight into the team, even at left-back. Uh, and Callum bought 1v1, something different, got our people, things that Callum needs to do and can do because of his talent. So he made a big difference. How did you see that you would come back into this game? What did you see in that team? What did you tell them? What was your message that convinced them that there was something they could still get out of this today? At half time? Yes. Um, well, because it's clear. I mean, we created, I don't know, two or three really great chances in the first half. I felt we were going to create more. The only problem when you're three down is that West Brom are going to really seriously protect the lead, which means dropping back, which means frustrating moments and staying patient. And, and, we, and we did that to a big degree. Um, but it's, it's a big lesson for us, a big lesson in the detail of a game. doesn't matter how much you can create, because um, we will create a lot and we will get a lot better. We're, we're definitely finding our way with new players into the team and a lack of pre-season, so we will get better. But um, today is part of the process of getting better, just to, to accept the things that aren't right in our game today because we lost two points. You mentioned the character of the team and rightly so, but with what message should your team walk away from this ground with today? I feel like I've just sort of told you that, but I mean, you know, there's a, there's a lot that we can we can keep getting better at. I'm, I'm not coming here to, to alter, to absolutely criticise everything in our game, because I think they had three shots on target and th get three goals. And, you know, if you're going to play that kind of a game, it's going to be really difficult to win matches in the Premier League. So um, that, that one's on us. As I say, they're genuine mistakes. They're not team goals. They're not things tactically you can analyse again and again and think about the type, shape of the team or whatever it is. It's pure mistakes, so they need to go.